Hello, folks. We are here. How was everyone's weekend? Mine was very good. Um, saw a lot of family, which was nice. We celebrated Easter. Had a lot of good food. My sister made this seafood boil, which is really cool. Um, she actually has a little company that she uh, where they will cater with this seafood boil. It's called North Shore Boil. Um, and she made it for our kind of Easter celebration. Oh yes, I came down here to snag a haircut, but they are not here on Mondays, of course. Um, so we'll have to do that tomorrow to give a haircut for our boy Lucius. Um, just let's do a little team recap so far. Um, right now we've got Lucius the Eevee at level 28 with the King's Rock. Quick attack, tail whip, sand attack, shadow ball. We've got Rupert Grunt, the Heracross, of course, the iconic. We have got Pampris, the Lapras. Awesome, got that new Parish song going. Margo, the Dunsparce, the, the myth, the legend. Um, she is a absolute uh, beast, an absolute tank, an absolute unit, if you will. Um, and then we have Sinaiquil, the Quilava. One more level. We'll get our next our next good fire move, which is good. And then we have Pogo, the Hoot Hoot, just flying for us right now. We have one more team slot open. We're actually about to have another nice battle here. Um, we're getting into the second phase of the rocket segment here, which I'm really excited about. Um, I have many memories of this fight that we're about to get into. Hold it, he says. He says, hold it. Ah, I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you. Hey, the mean boy, how's it going? Um, I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. See, he hates Team Rocket. Is he compensating for something? Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? You don't remember me? Come on, man. That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. Um, but yeah, here he is. Here he is again. You can just see my eyes right now. Um, <laughs> we have PP Pee -Pee here with his red hair. Yes, Golbat first. Um, we decided to start with Lucius. I'll let Lucius uh, play it out a little bit. I knew I was going to see Confuse Ray. I knew I was going to see it. Makes me very annoyed and sad. All right. I don't really know what else Golbat's packing right now. Yeah, Wing Attack, I think maybe Bite. Um, okay. So Lucius was able to get a couple Shadow Balls off. Ooh, we dropped that Special Defense. If your PP is red, you might want to get it checked out. That is true, folks. Um, you really don't ever want to have red PP. Not a good thing. <laughs> Um, let's go into Sinaiquil. We dropped the special defense. Great time to tune in. That's exactly right. Hey, it's just a public service announcement. Um, oh, I'm slower. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, no. That's terrible. Okay. Time to bring in a big gun here. We got Pampras. Pampras in the house. We're tanking that. Ugh. Guys, I think Confusion... ...is my least favorite status. I'm using a Hyper Potion, because this makes me real mad. That is some terrible luck right there. I know. Very... <laughs> it's a Joker. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've not seen that before. Um, but, uh, yeah, those uh, Confusion hits will, will turn you into the Joker. Their attack. There we go. Finally got one. Mm. So yeah, we had a really nice weekend. Um, on Saturday, on Saturday, I think I detailed going to the card show in town, which was really fun. Uh, Magnemite, this is great. I am going to go to Sinaiquil. I'm pretty sure this Magnemite does not have Thunderbolt like what's her name, Jasmine's does, but maybe it does. Oh, man, we have been nailing that. Oh, you wish they had card shows in your town? Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Because, uh, you know, I live in the Columbus area, and it's not like a huge city, but it's a nice city. Um, pretty well-sized. 
overall. Ah, for alligator. Ah, uh, a favorite of mine. Let's get. Let's bring in Rupert for this. Look at that big boy. I love for alligator. Um, when I first played through Gen Two, for alligator was my first starter. Totodile was my first starter. And I had a Feraligator that I got up to level 100. It was awesome. Um, so he lowered my speed. I don't really know what he's going for. You see, he has the Feraligator, but it's just got Water Gun. Not a huge threat right now. Um, there we go. I wanted to drop that defense and maybe get some strengths doing a little more damage. But I actually had a Feraligator, and I had it at level 100. And its moves were... Cut, Surf, Strength, and Hydro Pump. <laughs> um, it actually worked pretty well, but it's not, it wasn't the most optimal, opt, optimal? optimal moveset. Um, oh, you had a Cyndaquil and got your original Typhlosion to 100 as well. That is sick. I love to hear that. Um, I'm sure your moveset wasn't as perfect as mine. <laughs> JK, my moveset was not perfect at all. Um, so I'm gonna go into Lucius here. I'm not really afraid that he's gonna mean look me Just because yeah, he's gonna use curse and I've got shadow ball. This should knock it out, right? You're close anyway. Okay, great So I feel really good about Lucius getting the kill against my rival here um, Cut strength dig and flame wheel that is so similar <laughs> That's so great um Let's see. We are going to go into Rupert Grunt here. This is one of my favorites. Wow! Love Sneasel! Sneasel's so cool! Um, Sneasel is a dark and ice type. It was originally not available until the very end of the game in, in Gold and Silver. But in Crystal, you can get Sneasel earlier. Um, uh now that I'm thinking about it, it would have been pretty cool to use a, sne a Sneasel, but that's not what we have planned for this playthrough. Um, so, I will show you where you find Sneasel, and if you want to do a Sneasel in your own playthrough, you can go for it. Um, they had to let us get one Dark type, that is very true. Famously, a lot of the Dark types in this game are kind of locked into way farther in the game. Um, so, now we have some stuff where our rival, where he's really starting to feel like, what's up? Why am I just such a mean loser? Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on the gas, so why do I lose? And then he says this, I don't understand. Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love? Trust? Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I, I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up on my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. So he does have a little bit of a heart. At least for now. Um, poor PP. I know. He's just a poor, lonely, <laughs> abandoned <laughs> bastard child. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> He's a very sad figure. Um, so I'm actually going to pop over here. Oh no, they're blocking it. Okay, so I can't check Eevee's friendship. I don't think that we are... Oh, wow, what does he say? Our dream will soon come true. It was such a long struggle. Wow. That guy, he's been long struggling. A lot like Pee Pee. Um, I was going to check the friendship on our Eevee. But I was not able to. That's okay. So, you have that nice fight against your rival where he really gets a nice bit of uh, character development. I really enjoy that fight. Um... We'll let Lucius start here. Um, this is my <laughs> uh, reminder each time that the goal level for Lucius is 36. We need to get that Espeon before level 36. Um, and, you know, if, if Lucius does evolve this week... Um, It'll probably be on Saturday because we'll be streaming at night. And if Lucius hits the thre friendship threshold at night, it will evolve into Umbreon. And you guys are uh, free to use an Umbreon on your playthrough, but 
I want to use an Espeon. It's my personal favorite. Um, oh, yes, I have a comment. I remember telling you that the only lady in Sea... Oh, old lady in Sea and Wood tells you about friendship, but she actually tells you everything about your Pokemon except friendship. That's very funny. <laughs> um, I do remember you telling me that. I kind of forgot to circle back on that, but that's funny. Uh, all right, let's let... Uh, let's let Lucius kind of get in on this. So, there are kind of like three legs of the Team Rocket section here. Uh, Lucius isn't going to be a great matchup against Muck. I'm going to swap out here. Alright, Poison is very annoying, but we'll be able to heal that off with a full heal. This is the second section, I was really chewing my water there, of the Rocket episode, where the first section you go into the radio tower and you fight the fake director, and then he leads you back down here. And this is the underground section where we are looking for the true director, where they have him stashed. Um, oh yes, two more Pokemon. Coughing, we'll go into my main girl. My main girl, the girl's room. That was from, I forget, is, was that all that or the Amanda show? Let me know in the comments, people my age. The girl's room. <laughs> yeah, I forget, if, was that, okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was Amanda show. Appreciate you, JJ Bean. Um, but, uh, <laughs> the Amanda show was great. Um, I like eggs. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. I'm sorry if you're too young for that. Any watchers out there who uh, didn't know Amanda Bynes when she was in her heyday. She was a, she was a comedic tour de force, that young lady. But, um, yes, the Amanda show was great. All that was great. Keenan and Kel, classic. Um, I know that they just made a good burger too, which is funny. Oh, Lapras is poisoned here. Let's heal that off. Where's my burp? My full heal. There we go. So, um, this little part of the underground. Qua ha 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 ha! <laughs> Confounded by the shutters, are we? I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. This guy's like a like a evil clown or something. I don't know. Um, so the deal with this underground section is with these three rockets. Okay, coughing could explode, and I really don't want that to happen. Um, with these three rockets here, there are three switches behind them, and you can the shutters will move and lock and unlock depending on when you hit the shutters. Um, I don't remember how to get all of the items here. I am, I know how to proceed, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is a muck. I'm gonna go with Sinaiqual here. Go with the old Mud Slap Ember route. Okay, good, love to see that. But um, yeah, there's a way to get all of the items in here I think there are two. I am pretty sure that we can still get... I know there's a full heal in here, and I think that there is a... Um, a smoke ball, which is an item that lets you escape wild Pokemon. I don't think that's something we really need, so I'm not going to worry about getting it. Um, and it's funny, I talk about the items that you can find in here. Um, I really want to play other games here besides Pokemon. Pokemon is like my bread and butter. I love it very much. Um, I'm always going to be playing it, but I will ask that, you know, y'all just bear with me a little bit when we play some other games, um, especially games that where my knowledge, <laughs> no, Pokemon only, yeah, yeah, I understand, um, uh, where my knowledge is a little less encyclopedic, and I mean, I'm not even, I don't even know that much compared to other people, um, but I do know a ton about these old Pokemon games. Um, but I do really want to... Thank you. You appreciate the venture. That's very cute. Thank you. Um, but, uh, but yeah. I want to try to venture out into some other stuff, too. I, I always want to share games that I have played before with you, though. Games that I do love. I might not have the extensive knowledge that I have of some of the old Pokemon games, but... Um, don't burn me. Just don't burn me. 
Just don't do it. Okay, good. Um, but, yeah, I really want to venture out. Thing. Perfect. Um, we'll go into Sunyquil again. Again, I'm really wanting to get Sunyquil to that level 31. I'm poisoned. How sad. Um, because we want to get that new... Oh, Sludge. This will hurt. Don't kill me. Okay, no, we're fine. We fine. It's great. I want to get him to level 31 so we can get that... Um, Oh, what other games would I do besides Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, I did mention um, that I wanted to do something with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm looking for a full heal. Looking for a full heal. Um, I've also mentioned that I want to play Kingdom Hearts at some point. I love the Kingdom Hearts series, and I think that is... Um, a game that a lot of other people my age will be into. It's really in our era of games. Let's see, we're actually gonna go to Pampras here. One game that I would love to play is, we have a couple of these bandits just, just looking to make a quick buck here in the underground. I love Super Smash Brothers Melee. Um, there are a lot of GameCube games that I love. Um, Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness are also great games that I think could be really fun to show off. I actually never had a copy of those games myself. Um, I would play those with my cousin all the time, and it was great. Great, lovely time. Coughing, we will go to Margo for you. Um, I also love... It's so funny. I never played the original Ratchet & Clank, but the sequel, Ratchet & Clank Going Commando, was a game that I freaking loved, and I definitely want to play that. I think it could be fun to also play the original Ratchet & Clank as well, um, just to, like, kind of right that wrong. Um, oh, if you like Kingdom Hearts, you should play some Final Fantasy. Absolutely. Sorry, I just saw that comment. Um, I have played some. It's funny, because I really was only a Kingdom Hearts player for the longest time, and then I have started to get into Final Fantasy as I've gotten older a little bit, because I'm just like, I should try these out too. Um, let's see, I remember I am into Final Fantasy VI. I actually have not picked it up in a long time. Um, I have played Final Fantasy IV for the SNES, okay. Um, that sounds great. I, um, I've played seven. I've played the original seven. I have played ten. I I think those are the only ones that I've played through all the way. And it's funny, I kind of started with those because the main characters in those games are the characters that are featured in Kingdom Hearts. Um, but I also started playing six, which I've enjoyed as well. Um, but Final Fantasy IV, that's good to know. I know a lot of people like eight. Um... I know a lot of people like... I know 15 was pretty popular. I would be in, uh, um, into the idea of trying 15. And I've kind of mentioned before, I just love... Um, was Terra in Kingdom Hearts? Oh. Which Terra? Because there is a Kingdom Hearts character named Terra. Um, but I don't remember... And it's because it's funny... Main character in Final Fantasy VI. Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about now. Um, no, uh, she's not. Um, and it's funny that there is a another Kingdom Hearts character named Terra. Um, I could only think of Leon or Squall, like he is what he's called in Final Fantasy VIII, I believe. Oh, yes, great. Here is our new move. Sin Sinaiquil is trying to learn Flame Wheel, but Sinaiquil cannot learn more than four moves. Yes. Flame Wheel will finally level up Ember. That is excellent. Um, Ember is a 40 base power move, I believe. I think Flame Wheel, it's so funny, I think Flame Wheel is like a 65 base power move, which still isn't like a terribly huge improvement, um, but definitely one we needed. Um, ooh, sorry, I keep burping. Let's try it out.
very cool. Um, very, very cool. That's kind of like, that was a signature move of the uh, Cyndaquil line back in the day when these games came out. How could you? Um, so, can I go through here? I can go through here. So, this sa oh wow. This says it's labeled emergency. It's off, turn it on. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, this is just what I already had. Okay, never mind. I, th I guess that's like if you come back this way. Um, Flame Wheel is 60, thank you for that. Um, so still a nice little upgrade over Ember. You'll love to see it. Um, one move that we'll definitely be teaching our Quillaba when it evolves is Fire Punch. That is a 75 base power move. Um, so we're going to keep working our way through here. There's a few more rocket uh, fights to go through um, in the underground. You're not going any farther. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Not even brats. Um, but... Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about Final Fantasy. Yes, I'm totally open to playing more Final Fantasy. It is... Um, I loved Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I really want to play Rebirth. If anyone has played Rebirth, don't tell me anything. <laughs> I'm actively trying to avoid spoilers forever. I mean, I know what happens in Final Fantasy VII, but if you've played Remake, you know that they definitely set up perhaps deviating a little bit. Or maybe like a split, something or other. Mm -hmm. Um, Golbat. Uh, Margo might be a nice stay in here. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I say all that stuff about playing other games, and when push comes to shove, um, I wish I had Rebirth 2. I I can't get it yet. I haven't been able to play it. I really want to. Really want to. Um, but uh, I say all that about playing other games. The classic Pokemon games and just Pokemon games in general are kind of like, kind of like my bread and butter. I love them a lot. They're just so delightful. Because I really want this channel to be just like a nice, pleasant experience for people, whether it's nostalgic or otherwise. Um, and I just feel so happy and so warm and so great when I'm just playing these little games. I love it. Um, so this guy is special. Yuck, 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 yuck. I remember you. Yes, this guy we have fought in Slowpoke well. We fought him in the Rocket Hideout. It's very cool that he is like a, like a grunt that carries through the game. The permanent marker of games. Yes. Um, ba ba da da Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da. Um, <laughs> I don't love this matchup, but Grimer's not gonna like explode on us or anything. Oh yeah, we're doing okay. Just don't poison me. Just don't poison me. Just don't do it. Excuse you. All right, so I will heal that off. ASAP. Weezing is a prime exploder candidate. We'll just let Pampers handle this. Pampers is really the powerhouse of the squad. Pampers is a lot like uh, <laughs> Keith Angel in our yellow playthrough. Um, yes, Tech has a great point here. I love how the physical shadow ball lowers special defense. It makes a lot more sense in later games when they split those two things. But uh, you can use Shadow Ball to lower special defense, but it's still a physical attack, so it doesn't actually help your Shadow Ball, which is kind of silly, if you ask me. Um, we're using all our full heals, gang. All right, let's see. Oh, we are about to snag a nice item. Um, we'll let Rupert Grunt get in the front. Um, I like this item a lot. The Amulet Coin. Um, this is really helpful because you can give this to a Pokemon, and if you use that Pokemon in battle, it will double the amount of money that you make. Um, oh yeah, Lucius is holding the King's Rock. 
Oh yeah, they're all holding good items right now, but I'll probably just, uh, I'll get rid of the black belt, just for now. Um, when it comes to do, like, real important fights, I can get some of those items back on, but... Especially because I'm about to use Heracross. Alright, this guy. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. Try again, sir. You're about to get smashed. So, the way the amulet coin works is that now that I am using our good friend Rupert Grunt here in the battle, um, the amount of money that we would get from winning this fight... Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't. Don't. Good. Um, the amount of money that we would get from this fight will be doubled, which is sick and sweet. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll just get the Pampers here. Another great thing about Lapras is that it's so tanky. Oh yeah, and as I was saying, Lapras is really um, a powerhouse of the squad, much like Keith Angel was in our yellow in our yellow playthrough. Keith Angel was our Gyarados. Um, before Special got split into Special Attack and Special Defense in Generation 2, Gyarados was um, just insane. Um, Alright, let's get Lucius to the front. So, here we have the real director. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you! The radio tower. What's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key! So now, if you recall, there was that little spot in the radio tower that we couldn't uh, pass through, but now that we've found the director, he gave us the card key to access it. Uh, use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even able to be. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. That's quite the pep talk, dog. Um, so that's a TM for a move called Sleep Talk. Um, it's a move that helps you use your other moves when you're asleep. Um, and here there were these two little doors that we couldn't get through. Um, you have to find, you have to talk the, to the director before those, um, open up. And as you can see here, you have these dudes, um, they're working here in the warehouse. This is actually underneath the, uh, whatchamacallit, the department store. And this uh, uh, Machoke is moving these um, kind of cargo boxes around. And you, as you can see, some of these paths are blocked. But I think you have to go to the next floor. But if you come back down, the Machoke has moved some of the boxes. So now that you, you can access some of the areas that you couldn't before, which is very neat, a neat little trick. Um, get you an Ultra Ball. And then you still can't get into that one, so now we're going to do this little trick one more time. And here we are. They've moved the boxes once again. We can grab these last two items. Got me an ether. And I think this is a burn heal up here, if I recall. It is indeed. I'm going to sell that immediately because I do not need it with our full heals. Alrighty. So let me pop in here. I'm going to buy some full heals, actually. I think we can buy them from this guy. Get rid of burn heal. And buy some full heals. There they are. Perfect. I'll buy some revives while I'm at it. I always like to have some of those. Alright. So now, we have the card key. And we can do the third leg of the... Team Rocket episode here. Um, hold on. Guys, give me two seconds.
Sorry folks, my computer was being crazy over there on the side. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that for the rest of our stream. Um, so, I don't remember what I was saying, but we have made it through the second leg of the Team Rocket episode. We are now going to hop over to the radio tower to finish her up. Um, All right, so we got to hop up here and we need to use this thingy, use our card key. All right, it's the card key slot, SEG, inserted the card key. So now we can finish up this last bit of the Team Rocket episode. I'm very excited. Um, all right. So I don't remember what this guy begins with. We'll let Lucius get a nice little bit of experience. Why did the shutter open? Have you something to do with this? Absolutely, I do. Alright folks, so we have these last few fights with some of these high level grunts and then we are going to be able to take our best shot at kind of like the leader of the revamped Team Rocket, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I was hoping maybe we could get to more in tonight's stream, but we'll see. We'll see what, we're, what we can do. I know I definitely want to finish the Team Rocket episode. Bite is a very nice move for our boy Lucius. I'll give her a tail whip. Um, because remember, Bite is a dark type move in this generation rather than normal in previous generations. Alright, so coughing. Let's see. For coughing, we will let Margo take care of this. Margo is really just kind of like our catch-all, you know? Don't really know who to use? Use Margo. Um, there we go. I'm done for. Ah, uh, yes, we used our hair across as well. So, we have a couple more fights here. You don't have to fight this woman down here. I'm going to swap. Mm, I'm having a lot of indecision right now. I'm going to go with Sinaiquil, actually, for this fight. So this guy, he calls himself the Team Rocket Fortress. You're not taking another step. Sorry, I'm just kind of monitoring, monitoring this as we go. There we go. All right. So we have this Golbat. This is the reason why I did not want to begin with our boy Rupert Grunt. Because Rupert was not going to deal very well at all with a wing attack. Um, it probably would have knocked him out in one hit because... Um, Rupert is double weak to wing attack. A, f a burn would have been amazing. Don't kill me! That's terrible. Thanks for sparing him. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> I don't want them to die. They're all my little babies. Um, that is annoying that I'm gonna go have to, have to, going to have to go back and heal. Another critical hit! My lord almighty! I was speeding through it! Um... Let's see. Ba -ba -da. The fortress came down. You're right. You had one goal bat. Not a very uh, impressive fortress. It's like one wall in your fortress. Um, all right. Sorry. I'm speeding up just to head back here real quick. And then we're going to head back. Right back where we were going. Um, so, folks, I'm going to try turning this on. You probably heard my <laughs> Mac boot up there. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes my, my laptop's kind of old. It can be kind of silly sometimes, so 
So something we have coming up here is we have um, our rival's alleged mom. Uh, who are we going to start with? We'll start with Rupert. And then she is our last stop before the final boss. That's like just a flag. Da, 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 ba, ba. I don't know what you mean, Tech. Um, maybe I just lost my train of thought. Um, da, da, da. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. That is a great point. <laughs> just a flag outside. So here is our rival's mom. She's beautiful. I can understand why Giovanni and her had a torrid affair. So, let's see. She sends out Arbok. Well, I'm gonna log into my computer over here. I'm, I'm multitasking. All right, let's see. We are gonna strength. <laughs> Damn, uh. <laughs> absolutely. She is a she's a stone cold fox. All right, let's see. Do 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 um, I think Lucius should be able to handle this Murkrow. We'll see. We will see. Sorry, one moment. Alright. We're just gonna quick attack. Yeah, because Murkrow's not really gonna have much to hurt us here. We should be able to outpace it. I think... Ooh, there's that King's Rock flinch. Love to see it! Um, I think Murkrow can go for Nightshade, which is something that it likes to do, but since we are a normal type, it cannot use it. And Lucius gets the kill. You'll love to see it. And then, ah uh, yes, her ace is a Vile Plume. If you remember, some of the other women in Team Rocket have Glooms, and this is the evolved form. Ah, wonderful. So, um, Vile Plume is a Pokemon that is not a dark type, but it's kind of like rebranded as like a dark type or kind of like a nocturnal Pokemon. Um, its coloring is even darker in this generation for some reason. Um, it's very interesting what they did with Vile Plume. Um, but our boy Sonicwill is just gonna, just gonna eat right now. You'll love to see it. Do, 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 do. There we go. My computer be working again. There we go. Excellent for Sonicwill. This can't be happening. I fought hard, but I still lost. What does she say here? SCG, isn't it? A brat like you won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. That's too bad. I really admire your power. Wow. Thanks, Mom. Not my mom, but <laughs> someone's mom. All right. Oh, yes, we bought more full heals when we were at the Mart. So this is our last fight of Team Rocket. Um, I believe this character is named Archer in other kind of iterations of Johto. But in our iteration, he's just kind of like the boss rocket executive. And for his Pokemon, we have a great ace in the hole. I love when the music drops out. You're about to see it. Oh, wait, no, you're not. <laughs> I thought it happens here. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, you managed to get this far? Ah, uh, you must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovi Giovanni back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. Ooh, I really like this. I think it's such a cool little story thing, how they're like lost without their leader and they're just like trying to bring him back. And that's kind of the whole story of Team Rocket and uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. So as you can see here, this is a Houndour. 
It is a really, really cool fire and dark type. It is not a Pokemon that you can find in Johto. Um, it is a new Johto Pokemon, but you can't find it until very powerful too. It's very true. It's very fast. Um, and you cannot find it until the post game of this game. Um, which is extremely silly and something that I really think the devs should have done a better job of. Um, Faint Attack is a dark type attack, by the way. Ooh, and it's actually a very good strategy against what I'm doing here with my Mud Slap, because Faint Attack can never miss. So I can lower Houndour's accuracy all I want, but it's always going to hit me with these freaking critical hit, apparently, Faint Attacks, man! Ugh! So Nyquil specifically cannot catch a break, but I will let Lucius come in here and s snag the victory with his quick attack. Very nice. Um, so that's actually really nice for Lucius to get a knockout in a big fight like this. All right, coughing. We're gonna go into my my girthy girl Margo to hopefully take a uh, self destruct if it decides to explode. Um, headbutt. Let's see those flinches. Not that time. Okay. And you're going to see... Good. Um, this Rocket Executive has his own special ace that no other Rocket members have, which is very nice. And it is a... Houndoom. Houndoom is the evolved form of Houndour. But for this, we actually have a really good counter in our very powerful Lapras. Ooh! I love that. It's like howling. Um, Houndoom's a super sick Pokemon. Very powerful Pokemon. Um, yes, okay. Your favorite Gen 2 Mon. That's a good pick. That is a very good pick. Houndoom is awesome. Um, I'm sorry to destroy it on stream here. But Pampras' Surf should come close to knocking it out in one hit. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Houndoom holds on. Let's see. Faint attack. Will that be enough to stave off my powerful, powerful Lapras? Uh, not quite. <laughs> Try that on your shiny level 100. Uh, yeah, it would not work out for well for me there. That is definitely true. Um, Houndoom gets access to Flamethrower. Um, one of the best fighting fire type moves in the game. No! Forgive me, Giovanni! So let's see what this guy has to say in defeat. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up for the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And there they go. Just like that, Team Rocket is no more. SCG, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon Nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. Ah, the clear bell. Sorry. <laughs> that burp like erupted out of me. Literally forever, it's true. Um, all right. So this clear bell, there used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokemon lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps that bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in Ecruteak City. He said foreshadowing something that's coming later. Um, ah, that reminds me. I overheard Team Rocket whispering. Apparently something is going on at the Tin Tower. Oh, well, hey, there you go. Um, so yeah, something is going on at the Tin Tower. It is an event that you don't have to do, um, but it is a really cool... <laughs> what? What? I know. It is a really cool kind of like special event um, in Crystal that I will show you probably not today, but I will show you later. Um, Mary, oh, you're my little savior. Will you take this as my thanks? A pink bow... Um, a pink bow is really cool. It raises the power of normal type moves. Um, so that would be great for our girl Margo, but I love using the quick claw. So I might use the pink bow on her later, but I like having the quick claw for her. Thank you. You're my hero. This is a token of my appreciation. Mm -mm -mm. 
Um, <laughs> sorry. And this is the TM for Sunny Day. We've spoken about Sunny Day and Rain Dance quite a bit. Oh, usually a lot of times in my playthroughs, I always forget to do the quiz for the radio card. And um, I usually do it here because I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to do that. But for our special stream, I made sure I got it beforehand. Um, so that's it for Team Rocket. They are no more. They are gone. Um, gone, but not forgotten, you know? Um, and we got to heal Sinaiquil because our Sinaiquil died, which makes me sad, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'll pop over here and see, never forget, never forget. Um, I'm going to grab just a vitamin for our boy Lucius to raise, raise that friendship a little bit. I'll give him an iron, why not? Um, and there's something... I'm pretty sure in Generation 2 you can give Pokemon, like, um, as many vitamins as you want, but I think in later generations vitamins will kind of stop losing their effectiveness once your, like, effort values are maxed out or something. It's 8? Oh, okay. So never mind. Um, I think it maybe ends up being more in this game than other games. Um, I don't need to save right now. I just wanted to check our boy Lucius's friendship after we give him this here iron. There you are. That raises our defense. Iron raises defense. Kind of makes sense. So this lady, she says, if you treat your Pokemon nicely, I'm pretty sure later gens it's five or six. Okay, that's good to know. They will love you in return. So Lucius, it's friendly toward you. It looks sort of happy. So if you recall, that is still between 150 and 199. Once she says, it get, I get the feeling it really trusts you, that's when we're on, like, evolution watch. Um, and I'm really trying to give them all the... all of the haircuts and all that that I possibly can. Um, so, folks, I think I was maybe going to try to get a little bit further... But I think I need to tend to my little computer issue that I'm having over here. So, as you can see, I'm, I just flew to Mahogany Town. And once you get to Mahogany Town after the Team Rocket episode, that uh, guy that was selling all those Rage candy bars, he's not here anymore. So you can start to progress to the next part of the game, which I'm very excited about. Um, but that is something that I think I will save until next time. I really appreciate you stopping in tonight. If you are watching this on YouTube, I always appreciate you watching this after the fact. Um, <laughs> I'm bad at outros. What else was I going to say? Have a great week. Um, I had a pretty good start to my week today. Hopefully we can keep it going. And uh, if you had a rough start to your week, I hope it gets better. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.